Okay, we're going to take a look at parallel circuits again. And just writing down some facts and information from previous slides that might be good to keep handy. First thing, we're going to do that. Connection between the brand, uh, bandwidth and, um, and Q, quality Q and so forth. So we want to know all the branch currents. It's, it's a current divider situation. So whatever the highest conductance, the highest uh, admittance is, will be the component that, that has most of the current. So the branch current is going to be the admittance divided by the total admittance. And that's what this is expressing right here. How to get the uh, current of through the resistor and the conductance of the resistor is G or and G is 1 over R of course. Um, the capacitor voltage there we go the current is current divider equation and 1 over the impedance of the capacitor same thing here same idea here the current divider at resonance you got that the uh, there's no at resonance the imaginary component of the impedance is zero so just the real part ig has to equal is all the currents going through here the reason for that now there is current going through the capacitor and inductor it's just that they're uh, going back and forth that this is going out uh, this is going in and then it flips the arrows flip direction it oscillates back and forth so the net effect is this equals zero um, figuring out the magnitude of the current let's see we wrote down the equation over here the j omega c over um, y y equals g so we get this equation Going over here, looking at remembering what Q is, well, Q is. And the same thing here. So this will be equal to Q IL. Higher the Q, higher the current into the inductor and capacitor. Um, but they're the capacitor is giving the current to the inductor and at other points in the cycle it's the reverse okay and then crunching numbers number crunching which is pretty easy after you get all those equations down plugging and chugging your calculator stuff isn't too tough um ix i told you what that was do you guys remember it's going to be zero when one's flowing in one's flowing out okay so expressions for the resonance half power bandwidth quality factor for this guy uh here's the admittance uh this is a definition of the gain Notice we don't have a voltage over here. We have a current instead. H is the transfer characteristic. Uh, this is just Ohm's law for these resonant circuits. And we can write down rearrange it get this expression we know what y total is right here we can write it down then get a magnitude um resonant frequency you got that one over root lc and i better put a big uh, semicolon here these these two factors are equal to each other equal and opposite 
at residence. So the maximum H is going to be 1 over G or R. And resonant frequency, uh, put a big fat dividing line right here. These two are separate equations. One equation there, another equation here. Okay, so half power frequency. That is when, well, this is a good way to express it. The magnitude of H squared is half of its maximum. Sometimes we see it as the magnitude of H equals one over the square root of two of the magnitude of the maximum. But they put squares right here. So we use a half, half power. And it's just uh, plugging and chugging. So here's H max right there. Um, and here's H, you can just express H. And they took the reciprocal of both and, and squared them. So we get this expression and it's uh, not too hard to solve. And it's a quadratic equation with the roots are this. So this is the half bandwidth. So the high, the bandwidth is going to be omega, the high frequency minus the low frequency, which is just twice this term. So that's your bandwidth. Got it. Quality factor. We're going to have to use this formula for the quality factor. That's a good formula to use. So where's omega naught? Somewhere around here. One over root LC and then bandwidth um, C over, uh, yeah, G over C. G over C is the bandwidth. So dividing the two, this expression here, G is R. Okay, you got it. You got the quality factor too. If we make these substitutions here, it's, it's not too tough to show that you can make these substitutions up here in this expression to get this expression. Yeah. Okay. Moving on. Now, this expresses the idea that you have a single stage, you have resonance, uh, you have some sort of amplifier. This is not knob amp, by the way. Not knob amp. Voltage in, current out. This is the general symbol for an amplifier, by the way. Not necessarily an op amp. So uh, we get the single, the single stage amplifier and quality is given by these expressions. This graph expresses the idea, if you have one stage with a certain quality, you're gonna, you're gonna have a peak that looks like this curve here. Put a second stage on that, or a third, or a fourth. You're gonna get stronger peaks, higher peaks. It's gonna be sharper. It's gonna sharpen every time you put a network on it. Now, of course, the best way, one of the better ways to get a sharper peak is to reduce this value to as low as you can get. And this looks like a good time to stop and pick up, pick up um, the next video.